I haven't spent enough time to say have like really high conviction on what is happening, uh, but it seems incredibly likely that they are insolvent. Uh, you know, things that I've said, I believe publicly, if not just to, to many people in conversations that companies like Celsius and BlockFi represent some of the worst risk adjusted return bets in the crypto space. As you know, there's just really clear kind of public lines where if crypto assets get to that place, there's automatic liquidations. So we've seen we're seeing this playing out with Celsius, where they're you know, adding more collaterals, so that number is going down. But you know, in the past, you know, in you know traditional finance, you know, some sharps or hedge fund insiders might know where someone else's kind of breaking point is in terms of margin calls. Uh, in crypto, that's kind of basically all public in a way that never been possible before. Um, which makes it, I think, more likely that these kind of like wicks down to liquidate people occur. And if you look at kind of the history of, you know, just retail trading in terms of using leverage, you see that all the time where basically because these blockchains are largely public, you can figure out where these liquidation uh, prices are. And if you're, you know, a sharp uh, person, you can basically, you know, wick it down and make, make a nice return um, through a variety of different methods, nothing really particularly new or novel. To, to crypto, we've seen that in kind of liquid markets and equities and bonds for, you know, some kind of the history of modern finance.